Hey, my beautiful friends, how have you been? You know, I was sitting inside having my dinner and suddenly I looked up at the sky and it felt like the moon is out. I don't know why, but I don't see any moon anywhere at the moment. Um, yeah, I think it was just the light of all these uh, buildings and you know, the city lights glowing up and reaching out there. So, but then I just, the, I, th I thought I'll just come and stand here by the window. How have you been? How's it going for you? Mm, I hope wherever you are, you're fine. There's a lot of heat wave going around in different parts of India. And uh, I know the weather is playing a lot of, very moody. It's being very moody in different parts of the world. So I hope you're fine and taking care of yourself. In fact, just today, my friend Peter, who met me through YouTube originally, he asked me how we're all doing because he knows I live in Bombay and there's a heat wave going on. So I told him we're fine and I hope he's fine too. And I know he's fine. So I'm hoping that you all are fine as well. Um, you know, off late, I've been having some skirmishes and stuff with people. Um, who are more like you know they say something in front of you but actually they mean something else and then they speak very nicely with you and then they say bad and negative things about others and then they go back to those same people and then they speak nicely to them and they talk bad about you so a lot of these uh, instances have come up recently in the last four or five days I don't know how that's very weird but yes Mm, this is one of the reasons I'm not so social. I am kind of an anti-social person. I won't say anti-social in terms of being a negative person, but I find it... I don't like mixing with too many people, so I don't really want too many friends in my life. Even acquaintances is not something I really prefer because, you know, I don't like all these... Uh, I don't know how to do all of this whatever it is called politics of human nature or whatever it is i don't like it so if i feel something i'll say it out loud right there and i'll get it off and i'll be honest about it and then i'll go back to being the way things are but i won't pretend and i won't you know uh say be nice in front of you and then go to someone else and say how horrid you are or talk bad things about someone in front of you and then go back to the person and say that you know how lovely they are I, I can't do all those things so you know usually I back away from these situations I apologize I keep listening to all the bullying and I apologize and I give in and uh, <clears throat> I try to uh, make peace I appease the people I try to make it all go away but sometimes I lose it too. I mean, I don't get rude really all the time, but sometimes I really lose it. I'm anyways very short-tempered, but I lose it. And then I actually tell them that, you know, I've had enough and I don't want anything more to do with this. That is when people tell me that, oh my goodness, you are so rude. How can you be like this? You are so this, you are so that. So, you know... My first instinct is always to run away and not get in a situation where there can be confrontation, arguments, disagreements. I don't like all of that. I'd rather just go and lie down in my bed under the sheets with a book or just watch something interesting on YouTube or Netflix or whatever. <laughs> or sit by the beach or watch the sky at night, you know. Yeah. But I think... Oh, I miss my childhood when, you know, I was more protected and living in a shell with my parents. I didn't have to deal with all of this. And how much I wanted to grow up and be an adult and, you know, handle the grown-up world. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. How do you deal with confrontation and people like this who are, um, who, you know, have a mask on? And uh, that's all you can say. People who have a mask on and, you know, they never show their true personalities, but they're always faking it. How do you deal with such people? I am very, very bad at dealing with people, you know. So, I definitely can learn from you. I can get some tips and learn from you. So, yeah, that's that. 
okay so yeah i have started working out a bit again nothing nothing really much but it's just fun and of course there has to be some activity right so i have not been going for my walks much so i thought i'll at least do this much and i have a very very amazing and inspiring trainer who helps me take care of certain health issues and stamina fitness things like that so i'm very very grateful for that but yes i am so disturbed because of all these people and how much trouble they're creating for me um i'll go into the details later in another video you know like what exactly they are doing uh, otherwise this will get too long and i don't want to bore you right now because the view is so beautiful lots of glowing lights so let's keep it at that um but yeah automatically speaking to you makes me feel happier more positive more relaxed so yeah it's very calming for me and um i hope you're having a good time i hope you're taking good care of yourself and wherever you are i hope you're doing something that makes you feel happy and yes i just wish that all the negative people the negativity goes away from your life and you get more of positives i really love you i treasure you i cherish you you are really special and there can you see that light up there that's a flight that's a flight approaching from behind the hills and then it will take a turn towards the airport so i remember during covid when flights had stopped um we we i see a lot of flights because a lot of flights um, actually cross my house on the way to the airport so you know i see a lot of them all the time so during the lockdown situation when flights were not allowed it it feel very weird feel it feel it felt very weird and something like a dystopian thing but then um it was just the birds and then finally when the uh, flights resumed again when they started then it felt weird you know and it would be like oh my goodness what is that that's a plane that's a plane i saw one plane today wow and then some days oh i saw two planes today one in the morning one at night oh my goodness so you know usually it's about at least 25 to 30 planes a day if not more i think it's more than that but it's about 25 to 30 a day yeah so you know you can imagine suddenly the skies go blank so obviously what imagine you've been through it give a give yourself a pat on the back you've been through it you are here so yes something definitely went well for you anyways i have said too much i think already so let me know what you're doing i'm reading a very very interesting travel book in hindi which is very interesting it's a language i love so it kind of is taking me back to my roots nostalgia and you know it's um it's like i'm enveloped in this warm cozy hug with a cup of um, soothing tea and my parents sitting next to me and um, assuring me that everything is nice everything is going to be right it's fine there is no other outside world it's just the four of us we are all here together forever and we'll take care of you devo don't you worry <laughs> this book is giving me that kind of a feeling you know taking me back to my childhood my goodness when i start talking to you i just never stop so i have to stop now I'll say bye bye. I'll say take care, and I will say see you soon. So just let me know what you are doing as well, yeah. Take care. Bye bye.